Welcome to my channel Let's Learn. Today in this video, I would like to show you how to configure DNS and web server on the local area network. Before we move ahead, please take your time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. As you can see on my network diagram, I have a router, switch and different PCs connected to the switch. On one side, I have a router which is also a gateway for this network. And then we I have a switch where all other devices are connected. Over here, I have a DNS server on the left side and on the right side, I have a web server. I am going to use this server as a DNS server and this server as my web server. I have two PCs with IP address. Here in this demonstration, I am going to use the IP address network of 192.168.1.0 with the subnet maps of 255.255.255.0. So first of all, I have to configure the IP address on PC1 and PC2, which I've already done it. If you don't know, let me show you how to do it. I'll go to PC1, single click, then I'll go to the desktop menu. Then here I can see IP configuration. Inside the IP configuration, I will configure the IPv4 statically. Therefore, that you, you can check, click this one. Then I will provide the IP address of 1.100, subnet max slash 24, gateway, the IP address of router, and the DNS server, which has the IP address of 1.5. I will show you how to configure the DNS server later on. Then once this is done, I will follow the similar process on PC2, which has the IP address of 1.101, and with the gateway of 1.1, the IP address of the router and the DNS server IP address 1.5. Now, after this, I have completed configuring the two PCs. I'll go to the my web server. Web server will have the IP address of 1.6.192.168.1.6. I'll single click it. Then there are different menu as you can see or tab over here. We will go to the services. Then over here, we, there are different services which we can enable on this server. For that, for that, first of all, we have to go to the HTTP, HTTP. Then if it is thrown off, then we have to turn on the service. I am going to turn it on. Then I similarly, I am going to turn on the HTTPS service also. I have thrown it on. Now, if we want to change any part of the default web application, which is hosted inside this web server by default, you can go through it. For example, I want to change hello world.html. For that, I can go to edit. Then I'll put welcome to Let's Learn as the line. This line, when the site is open, it will it will display welcome to Let's Learn. Then for this, after that, I can save the configuration. It will say that it is going to override. Yes, we are going to override it. Yes, then over the desktop, if we can configure the IPv4 configurations. Similarly, the IP address for this web server is 1.6. The default gateway is same, 1.1, and the DNS server is also same, 1.5. Once this is done, we can close it. We can close it. If you don't know how we I got this server, server, then that means for that you simply need to click on the in devices over here, down here. Then you can see server is here. You can simply drag and drop the server here on the workspace so let me delete this for now i have deleted now i have completed my web server configuration i will go back to the dns server dns server if you don't know about dns service dns is used to translate the fully qualified domain name to the ip address let me explain you what i am trying to tell you here again, you go to the services. Over the services, there are different services, but we are interested in DNS for this server. We will go to the DNS. If by default it is off, you have to turn it on. Be, be, be careful. So many times the student will forget to turn it on and they just put the records and later on they find it, it is not working. So very important, first of all, turn it on. Turn it on, then there are different type of records over here which we can configure, but for this video, I'm going to use only a record. A record is related with the IPv4 translation of a domain name. Now, name. In the name, I'm going to put provide a domain name. 
and I'm going to use a domain name of www.lerslearn.com lerslearn.com be careful here we am going to put the fully qualified domain name that is my domain name is lerslearn.com and the corresponding IP address of this this server so I am hosting this lerslearn.com on the IP address of 192.168.1.6 this is the IP address of my web server where I have hosted my lerslearn.com. Now after doing this, I have to save it or add it. Let me add. Then make sure it is added over here. Make sure it is added here. Then if there is a save button, you can save it. Here we don't have save button. Over here we can close it. Or if you haven't configured the IP address on this DNS server, it is important you configure it. Don't miss that. Then the IP address of this server is 1.5. The gateway address is 1.1, then the DNS server is the server IP address itself. Then I'm going to close it. Now, before we check anything else, before first of all, we need to check for the connectivity. That means we have to make sure we are reachable to the DNS server from PC1 and to the web server from the same server. For that, I'll go to the PC1, then I'll go to the command prompt. Here, I can issue a ping command. I have already done it. Let's see. Go to for pin for DNS server. We can see the DNS server is reachable. Again, go for 1.6. Web server is also reachable. Now, let me close this command prompt. Then, I'll go to the web browser. I'm inside the desktop. I'll go to the web browser. I will single click the web browser. It may take some time, a little time to open. Then, I will browse for HTTP www.lerslearn.com Lerslearn I'll Lerslearn try to browse it Then you can see the website is open Then if I go to the small page We can see welcome to the Lerslearn It is displayed So in this way what actually happened was that Once we Browse the Lerslon www.lerslon.com. My computer will search for the IP address. To search for the IP address, it will handle this DNS package to the DNS server, and the DNS server will check for the IP address corresponding record in on your database. Where then after that, it will provide me the IP address of the web server. In this way, the DNS server works. That means, let me show you over here. If you are still not confused. When I try to browse www.lerslon.com, which is actually this web server, first of all, my computer, who doesn't know the IP address of the web server, will send the request to the DNS server where we have the DNS record of the web server, that is www.lerslon.com. The DNS server will return back the IP address to this PC, and after getting the IP address, the PC will send the request directly to the web server. In this way, the DNS server will make our life easy by browsing directly using the domain name rather than the IP address. Thank you for watching this video. If you appreciate my job, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel.